My name is Rebecca Griffith and I'm a volunteer coordinator here with Open Arms Hospice. The role of the volunteer coordinator is to, of course, um, recruit and train and, and orient new volunteers, um, both for our in-home program and our uh, program here at the Hospice House. So we have about 180 volunteers at any given time, and what we're doing is just um, being, being a resource to the family as well as the patient. The um, nurses and doctors and CNAs, their job is, of course, for the patient to be the, the top priority, and then we come in as volunteers to help take care of the family um, in between. So um, we're just making sure that we're uh, reaching out to all of our patients who are either in their homes being cared for or also here at the hospice house. Um, so anything from hospitality to extra love, sitting with the patient, caring for, holding hands, um, you know, giving the caregiver a break, anything that we can do um, that's just short of medical care that's provided by the professionals. Our volunteers work very closely with our staff to, to meet the needs and whatever they may, may be. So what we're doing is we're trying to keep our, uh, as a volunteer coordinator, keep our ear to the ground but also be available to staff whether they're out in the homes um, and that would be the nurses or the social workers or even the CNAs. We have a need. Someone doesn't have um, blankets or pillows or someone might need a prayer shawl or a neck pillow. We're going to take that, kind of assess the need and make sure that that um, person gets the materials that they need. Um, we also work with the social workers and different resources in the area. So if it is a, a need that's bigger than maybe some supplies that we might have on hand, we're going to outsource to different um, programs and resources in, the, in our local community. Um, and then um, as far as needs here in the hospice house, uh, the nurses will let me know, you know, Mrs. So-and-so needs someone to sit with them. Um, Mr. So-and-so really likes Elvis music. And so we look through our, um, our music that we have in the back and make sure a volunteer goes in and sets up the music and shows the family how to use um, the TV or the CD player, however. Um, and, and those are just a couple of the needs, but we, we also, um, if someone needs a snack, we're there to, to try to make sure they have what they need. Uh, we have a snack cart that goes around, which is really nice. It's called our cheer cart. And that goes out several times a day with, with water and snacks and anything that somebody might need so that um, we're just providing so nobody has to leave if they don't want to leave. They can, they can be here and their needs are taken care of, that sort of thing. When I came here, I um, got started and started going to meetings, and I noticed that a certain nurse looked really familiar to me, and I hadn't put the two pieces together, um, but my mom helped me out, and she said, you know, Grandpa was with Open Arms Hospice, and I went, oh, oh, I wonder if that was his nurse, and come to find out, um, the nurse, I think she's in your interviews, um, Dell was my grandfather's nurse, and so now I get to work with the people that help take care of my grandfather, and that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. And um, just recently we had my great aunt and my great uncle come into our care and just um, to see your coworkers in a different light, to be on the other side of it, to be on the family side of hospice is, it, it's hard and yet you know your coworkers and you know the love and, and um, compassion and respect they have for each family member. And you'd like to think that you're different as a staff member, but um, you're not, you're, you're treated just the same as any other person would be. And I think that that's pretty spectacular that the care our staff provides our patients is across the board, whether you're a family member or just someone down the street who needs the hospice care coming from whatever background. I think it's, I think it's just remarkable. Anybody that wants to be a volunteer with Open Arms Hospice can go to our website, openarmshospice.org, and fill out an a online online application, or they can also um, call us. We'll, we'll make sure that we put one in the mail to them. They can do um, an application that way. If they happen to stop by here at the hospice house, we have paper applications available at the front desk, and they'd fill those out. The process from there is once we have an application, we'll make a phone call to the person who's interested in volunteering, and then um, we'll set up an informal interview, and we take about 30 or 45 minutes to uh, tell the, the interested person about hospice program, kind of get to know them, see if they would be a good fit. And from there, we send them on their way to do all of the, um, the, the medical background and the background checks and everything else. And so once all that comes through and they've done their um, TB test and flu shot and things like that that are required, um, we bring them in and we have an orientation. And then we partner them with a, a seasoned volunteer to make sure that they um, feel comfortable in, in the role that they've decided to, to be a part of.